Welcome to Wolf and Dog. This is the final act of the Nordlease campaign in the Battlefield 5 single player, and it's one of my favourite missions in the entire game. The story is based around the Norwegian heavy water sabotage, a series of allied led efforts to halt German heavy water production via hydroelectric plants in occupied Norway during World War II, and this involved both Norwegian commandos and allied bombing raids. In the game we play as a Norwegian freedom fighter whose mother, a scientist, has been taken hostage by the Germans. Our objectives are to continue their work, sabotage the heavy water supply and production and ultimately discover the mother's fate. The mission is open to the player out of the three objectives presented at the start, the player can complete them in any order that they choose but most tend to start down here with the destruction of the shipping trucks. Now I decided to play this stealthy because all around the main objective areas there are alarms and if you go loud, if you startle a guard, there's a potential that they can raise the alarm. Luckily, as you just saw, we came equipped with throwing knives and the great thing about the knives is that once you've thrown them, you can retrieve them. So I've gone ahead and disabled the alarm there. We'll take out this enemy soldier and look to climb up the ladder to the roof. And from this position, as long as we're not spotted, we can drop a dynamite down onto the objective and get ready to blow it up. So far so good. Just got to get down now without alerting any guards. Quick take down here. Keep it quiet and then we're going to blow it. Confirmed and then let's get out of there. Now the cool thing about the skis is that they're quite stealthy so you can get around the level quickly and quietly so if you're gliding around on these things the enemy aren't as likely to see or hear you believe it or not ski warfare played a key role in world war ii and the most common transportation for Norwegian soldiers during the Norwegian campaign in 1940 was skis and sleds. And during Operation Gunnerside, an operation which the Nordlease campaign is loosely based on, Norwegian commandos covered large distances using skis in order to reach and sabotage heavy water plants. These sabotage missions were incredibly important because heavy water was a vital part of the German strategy for creating atomic weapons. So we've made it over to the Docklands objective here. And what's cool about this is the amount of options to the player. I could have gone through the front door, guns blazing, maybe kept it stealthy instead, but I've opted to go underneath and all we're going to do is place one dynamite on the wood there underneath the shipment. As long as we don't get spotted, we can get away and make our way over to the second objective in this area. Now you might be wondering why didn't you blow it up? Well, the reason for that is that as soon as I do, the alarm will sound. And if that alarm goes off, it's a lot harder to cross the ice there. But we've managed to keep it quiet. We're going to drop in interact and that's another objective completed we've got to get out we're going to blow the dynamite make a hasty retreat there it goes there was this time. luckily for us there's a vehicle down here we'll steal that get out of there fast You can find a secret collectible hidden in that ship there. They're scattered all around the level. And there's also an easter egg, which we'll talk about a bit later. Okay. 
good than the power. So our next objective here is to destroy the state police intelligence. And we've had some intel that it's inside a bunker. And you may have just seen it there, that red door. That's where we've got to get to. Again, you can approach this from multiple angles. Do you want to go in on a truck? Do you want to shell the village with a cannon? You could go in guns blazing with an MG42. But I think that this mission is best played from a stealth perspective. So that's what I chose to do. We've nearly made it to the bunker, but we've got an enemy behind the truck and one right around the corner. Hello? Unfortunately for them, their back was turned. So we're going to torch all the intelligence here. This tends to alert the guards though. So it's time to go loud and we'll take the truck. Get out of there as soon as possible. It's not the quickest vehicle though, this one. Doesn't handle the best, but it'll do. So that's all three main objectives complete. And now we have to move over to a rendezvous position and scout it out. There's been some intelligence that something might happen there. We're going to go see for ourselves. Now about that Easter egg that I mentioned, it takes place on this frozen lake all the way over there on the right. Hidden on the level are three gold coins. And if you collect them all, a giant blue whale falls out of the sky. It's supposedly a reference to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Perhaps one of the level designers who worked on this has a fondness for the book or the movie. Boots on the ground again here as we work to infiltrate the bunker. But there are enemies already patrolling. We did make quite a ruckus back there, so they'll be on their toes. We're going to go for a nice big wide flank instead. And I can hear an enemy just up ahead of me here. Quick take down with a throwing knife. We'll have a peek and see where the rest are. I throw out a decoy. Make a little distraction. Okay, so their attention is elsewhere. That gives us an opportunity to take them out. And with that, we're going to move into the bunker. Quick check around the corner here, just in case. Nobody in the office, we're looking good, and we'll move on. And now we've got a chase on our hands. The mother is still alive. Can we save her though? Now these mortars can actually hit you and kill you. If any of them directly contact or hit near enough to the Kettenkrad that you're driving here, you will explode 
and have to restart the checkpoint. We're going to veer off to the right, a bit more cover, and jump out, see if we can destroy those two final trucks. Plenty of explosive barrels there. Destroying those ones will eliminate the first truck. Quick check. Looks like we're clear. And we're going to throw a dynamite on the final objective. Complete the mission. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.